Hi, welcome to Start PHP. This is an absolute beginner's tutorial 002, which we talk about conditional statements and logical operators. So let's see what we learn here about the conditional statements and logical operators. So first we learn about true and false, what they are in PHP. Then we talk about if condition in PHP else f will be uh, reviewed next after that we talk about else then we look at the logical operators ampersand to ampersand and also and and then we look at the logical operators of two bar vertical bars or or now let's talk about true and false we can define a variable as a boolean variable as true or false like this let's say mm, yes so we we put our variable name whatever you like in our case i just put yes and mm, yes i assigned true and for no i assigned false true or false are two values that are representing with one and zero in memory so true is equal one and false is equal zero even here i can put one and zero and you don't put them inside a quotation they just you just put them without a quotation like that so they work fine so we are assigning them so uh, remember this is equal one and this is equal zero let me just print them here for you we will say print this is the actual text and then we say echo or print yes whatever is yes and here we say no so let's run the file for yes this is equal one and no it doesn't show anything because no means equal zero and zero unless it's an integer value Okay, so now let's change this to 1 and then change this to 0 and now let's print them. I'm just refreshing it. This time it shows 0 and 1. So that is true and false and we use it for um, conditional statement. Now let's have a look at the if condition. Oh, so what is if? So when, when we try to do a condition statement, a conditional statement, we, we type f and then open clo close parenthesis. The if condition can be written with some statement inside this. For example, I can say if yes, which is yes is equal true. So if the value inside is equal true, it can do something for us. For if statement, we can write it this way with op opening you see uh, let me just put it this way so you start with opening and closing but you can put here and then uh, if you type something you can do that let me bring it here so if yes and then we say hmm, something to test it So the condition is true. So whenever you have something inside this, it's true. So if I put here the condition uh, with dollar no, because no is equal false, no is equal false. So this if condition is false, and this will not be printed. You don't see anything. So that is the if condition, and inside if condition, you put your condition. For example, um, you can put, uh, let me define a variable here. And here you say, if num is bigger than three, then print this. That num is eight. So here we say if condition. So we use this greater than and less than sign these are the uh, operators that we use so 
the condition is true. So here the condition is true because it's uh, bigger. But if we say if 8 is bigger than, if num is bigger than 20, print this. We know num is 8 and this is false. This num is not bigger than 20, so it will not be printed. Now let's look, look at else if and else. So here we can say else and then close it. So the condition is false. Now num is equal 8 and num is not bigger than 20 so this is false. As soon as this is false the program escapes and runs else automatically. When this is false else regardless will be displayed. So let me see here. The condition is false as you saw it because this is not true. But if I put it as 5 So this is true. Now, how about if I put it as 8? This means num is bigger than 8. Is 8 bigger than 8? No. So this will print false. So let me save and then run. That's false. Another operator that we will use is the equal sign here for the if condition. So this means if Eight, if num is equal or bigger than 8, is this now true? Because num is 8, yes. If this is not, if it's not bigger, it's at least equal. So now run it. So the condition is true. So this text is printed because this is true. So if we say 8 is, uh, we say num is smaller than 20. Now, so this is smaller. So this 20 is bigger than num or num is smaller than 20 because this condition is true because eight, a num is 8, so this will print. If this is 28, so 20 is not bigger than num, num which is 20, so we get false. So the next line will be printed. Sometimes you have one condition and you want to have multiple other conditions here. You can have else if, and then you can have another condition here. For example, you say if if this num is smaller than 20, do this. Otherwise, if it's, you can put another condition here. Remember, else doesn't have any condition. So else runs rig when this f fails. Now we have else if. Now else will run only if f is, if, f is false and else f is false. And then it will it will be the term for this one. So we can say let me ch change the num. If num is bigger than ten, then So now else is printing. Now let's see. Num is 28. So this is, this is fail, uh, false because 28 is not less than 20. Now is num bigger than 10? True. So it should print this one. Else if condition is true. So now it was printed. So this condition will run if, for example, you can, if, if num is smaller than 20, this will run, otherwise if it's bigger than 100, it will be this one, else print that one. So 28 is not bigger than 100, so the else is printed. So you can do multiple conditions. Here you can have another else if. Unlimited number of else if you can have. So you can have equal, for equal you can put it like that. So this means you have to put two equal sign to say if num is equal 20. One equal sign is assignment. So you are assigning 28 to num. So this is one, e one 
uh, equal. Here we have two equal sign. This is for comparing. When you compare, you put two of those. So if num is equal to 30, so this you have to remember, you have to put two of those. Now let's run it. Else, because the condition is so. So if I put 28, so this will run because this is failing, this is false, and this will be now true. This is also false, this is false, only this one is true. Else if, so else if, uh, let me put it number two, so you know that was printed. So that was else and else if. Now let's have a look at logical operators. So we have, um, ampersand to ampersand which which they are equal to and so in php you can put ampersand and ampersand or you can put and one of these they are equivalent to each other and also we will have this one two bars or pipe to vertical when you in us keyboard you so here as you can see here on the on the keyboard, this says the US keyboard, and above the enter, that is a pipe. So this one is a vertical bar or pipe that we, we will use. Let's say you have num, which is 25, and then num1 is 28, and num2 is 18. So you want to see if 25 is between these two numbers between num1 and num2. We know by eyes that yes 25 is within the range but see how we can do it with PHP. If that is true then that num is true. So let's let's use it here. If num is smaller if num is smaller or equal than num1 so this condition it says if it's smaller than 28 so now it's true. Correct? So the condition is true, but if, if if any number is smaller than 28, this will be true. Okay, so now let's run this. Smaller than 28, so that is true, because num is 25, but we want to check if this is also 4 will be true, which we don't want that smaller than 28 that is correct but how about if we want to check exactly so here we put and or ampersand then num is bigger or equal than num2 in this condition it says that the number must be the num which we have must be bigger than num2 bigger than 18 or equal so which means between the two then we say Now it's between 18 and 28. Now let's let make it, let's make it 29, and you will see that that will fail, fail, and num is bigger not than that. So bigger not bigger than 100. This will run. If else else is printing. So now between so this condition will just do the job for us. You want to check if it's bigger than 60. This is just an example. In that case, what we do is, we say if this is, so what we do is we group this by putting a parenthesis here and a parenthesis here. And here we can say, or, not the condition must. We say if this is true, or. In that case, we put this condition, or num is bigger than 60 then then it means if this is true or this is true print this so now this condition because 20 so this is now failing it will print else if i put 28 this will be true because this is true it will be printed but if i make this 
50 it will fail because this is failing it says or this true to this also will not be true so it goes to the other one to the else but if you want to make it bigger than 60 let's say 73 now this will be true the first condition because this is false because we say or one of them must be true in order to make it true bigger than 60 here we can we can do like that number bigger than 60 and here we can do another condition or num is smaller than 100 put another parenthesis And smaller than 100 how about if we put 120 here it says if bigger than 100 it will be here because the number we are looking for bigger than 60 smaller than 100 and between this number so this will fail this fails this fails so this condition total fails and it comes to this it will be true so larger than 100 will be printed so we say if num is bigger sorry here we want to put and ampersand now here let me just type and so you can put a and d so larger than 100 so this was, was printed so that was the ampersand and and here we can put and and we here we can put or even lowercase uppercase they all work the same so the hundred let me put here 73 like before so the number uh, so let me put here now So num is 73, it's between these two. Let, now let me just give you extra information here. Sometimes people do not use this. So you can do this one. Colon. Then in that case we put else if. And then we put this. And if so because we put that this automatically we don't have to so we put colon and it will work else if also has a colon else has a colon so this key is on the keyboard when you press shift and it's semicolon right side of L this will perfectly work as before thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel